To create a multiple choice question, go over to Settings and then to Question Bank. Once you open that up, go to Create a New Question and then choose Multiple Choice. Then you need to give your question a name. Usually when I make a name for a question, I just put in the, the first line of the question so that it's easy for me to remember what it is. So I'll just grab this and copy it and paste it down here in the question text. What is the smallest number? You can see that the default mark for this is 1, which would be the standard for a multiple choice question. And I'm going to make it that there's only one answer. I could make it that there are multiple answers if I wanted to. I could also add in a video or an image into my question. Here's my first answer. 2.3 is going to be the correct answer, so I'm going to give it a grade of 100%. The second choice I'm giving them, 2.35. Since that's not the right answer, I'm going to put grade none next to it. And there's the option here to give some feedback where you can write a little message to the student if they put this answer in. I don't often do this because I actually have my class with me every day and I can go through the answers with them. Choice three, choice four, and so on. There are five choices by default. You don't have to fill in the fifth one. You can leave it blank or you could just do three choices or two choices. You can even add more choices. It says there's blanks for three choices. The combined feedback, I don't really usually bother with that. Setting some multiple tries, um, there's the penalty that you can give them if you have it set on adaptive mode in the quiz. I don't normally use adaptive mode, so I can just ignore that part. Hints, I don't normally give hints, but you can imagine how they work, and then I just save the changes. So you can see it's the highlighted question in this list. If I click on the little magnifying glass, it shows me a preview, and I can check to make sure it's all right. Um, you can have a go at it if you like, and here I'm, I'm getting it wrong on purpose. You can see what it says there. It doesn't normally give that feedback to the student straight away. Um, usually the choice is to make that deferred feedback until the end of the whole quiz. And if you need to edit it, you can just click on the hand holding a pen, just as for editing anything else on Moodle.